What if you had no male friends who can be your best man? Well, that's what Paul Rudd has to figure out in the new romantic comedy, I Love You Man. When Peter gets engaged to the woman of his dreams, he discovers to his dismay that he has no male friend close enough to serve as his best man. He immediately sets out to rectify the situation, embarking on a series of bizarre and awkward mandates on a quest to find his best man. Here's the thing, Zoe. Peter's always been a girlfriend guy. All his dude friends just fell by the wayside. Why is it weird that I had girlfriends? Nothing. We're just saying you never really had a best friend is all. Well, who's your best friend? Your brother, Robbie. He's about the coolest guy I know. <laughs> We wanted to know what a bromance means to the two main stars of the movie. We tend to reject the term bromance because a word can't capture what's going on here. What is Mmm. It's more of a sound. Yeah. Mmm. It's like, mmm. Whoa! 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 John Favreau admits he has relied on many of his male friends in his life. I think it's good to say that guys should have emotional connections and that friendship should be given as much attention as a, as a, romantic, uh, as a romantic relationship. I've relied on guy friends uh, a great deal, and uh, both in, in, in my career, creatively, and also just emotionally. Director John Hamburg admits bromances is not an exclusive thing. Well, do I have bromances? Yeah, of course. I think I think every guy does. Um, I'm not exclusive. I play the field a little bit with the different bromances, but uh, you know, I have my guy who I watch football with my guy who I'll go to movies with, you know, different different bros for different occasions. And if the cast of this movie looks so familiar to you, it's because they're part of this gang of director-producer Judd Apatow, who repeatedly casts them in his movies. From Hollywood, I'm Ron Jacobson.